Are you sick of carrying cables around with you when you're traveling or even having loads on your desk at home? Well, charge three devices in one with this small compact unit. Hey everyone, my name is Monty and welcome to Inside Wire. This is another product from a company called Use and I have reviewed a couple of their power banks before and I am somewhat impressed. And they're backed with another product called Neo. This small compact design is great for anyone who's on the go and the best part is you can charge three devices from a single cable. Inside this box, if we have a quick look, we get ourselves an instruction manual which tells us all about the safety notice, the FAQs, and how each of these devices works. So we have one for your Apple Watch, we have one for your smartphone, and one for your earphones. And if you're unsure on the compatibility, it tells you everything that is available on here. So you can actually do your Samsung phones on here too. We have a charge cable, we, ha we have a power delivery unit. So this is a 3.0 power delivery unit and it puts out up to 20 watts. Underneath, we have two USB cables. We have a USB-A to USB-C, or the likely one that you're gonna be using with this power brick is USB-C to USB-C. And finally, we have the device itself. So this is small, compact, and it spreads out to that long. And then what you do is you just fold this over, flip this back over, and you have yourself a small, compact device to take around with you. So let's take a closer look at this device and we have a USB-C cable plugged into the back for the testing of this. And if we take a closer look at the back here, you can see we have a three in one wireless charger, the output amounts for each area. So you have five, 7.5, 10 and 15 watts worth of power. You have five watts for your earphones and 2.5 watts for your smartwatch. Now, just keep in mind that this does a total of 18 watts worth of output. So the more items you add on here, the power is gonna get less and less for your smartphone. If you're only charging your smartphone, you can get up to 15 watts out of it. On the front right here, we're greeted with three LEDs, and I'll show you this in just a second when we start testing it. You can see each individual light is controlled by depending on which device you actually have set up. So if you have your watch, it's one light. If you have your phone, it's another light. And if you have your AirPods, it's a third light. Now the material itself on this is made of metal, so it's really nice and comfortable to hold. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break very easily. We have some PC straps on here, so we can see the thermoplastic that's being used on here and the charging pads at the top are also made of the same material so they're nice and soft so they don't scratch or damage your phone so there's been a lot of thought and design and considerations that's gone into this as it's been put together now when you open it up you're greeted with three different logos on here so you have your apple watch and let's peel this off you have your airpods which are just here and you're greeted with your phone on this side now to get this tested, we're gonna use the 20 watt power adapter that's come in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug that in over here. And now we have this set up and all connected. Now I'm using a slightly longer cable to get this into the middle of the table. So this will have no bearing on the impact of the testing. So the first things first is we're gonna try a phone and I've actually put in a voltage tester and a watts tester just here so we can see what's actually happening. So I'll pop that on just like so. And the wattage you can see on here is just climbing up. So we're just getting close to 10 and we're hovering around 10 at the moment. So that's what we're getting out of this right now. And if I go ahead now and add in my headphones, so we can go ahead and pop that one on. We're still hovering around 10 watts at the moment. And then finally, we're gonna go ahead and pop my Apple Watch on. So I'll take this off just like so, and we'll go ahead and pop this on. So we now have all three devices that are currently powering up at the moment and they are charging at this point and we're still only pulling around about 10 to 11 watts. So we're pushing a little bit higher just there and you can see now that that's going a little bit higher, 13 watts. So these little things take a little bit of time to kick into life and to get up to the maximum, but you can see that's already pushing to 13 watts so we're already almost near the top. So just that little bit longer than I anticipated it to be. So it's been about 35 minutes-ish. And let's take a look. So the Apple Watch went from 24 to 38%. So that's increased. And this is the Apple Watch Ultra. So it does require that little bit more power to get it powered up. We have the AirPods case, which has gone to 79%. So 67% all the way up to 79%. And if we look at the iPhone itself, that's gone from 49% to 65%. So overall in about 30 odd minutes, we've increased our battery by almost a quarter across all the devices. So relatively decent what you would expect out of something like this. Now, the next thing I wanna take a look at is the heat. These are still charging, so I'm gonna take the devices off charge now. So we'll take that one off. We'll take this one off and we'll take this one off. So all three devices and I can feel straight away that there's 
a little bit of heat, but not a lot. So if we have a quick look, if we take this out, for example, so we have 43 degrees, we have 37 degrees, and then we have 29 degrees. So overall, you'd expect obviously this one to be a bit hot, but holding this in my hand, you can't tell that it's that warm. So it's not something that if you hold in your hand is gonna be completely unbearable. And if I flip this over, because that was the charging spot. So if we have a quick look here, we're actually down to about 36 degrees, which is good. And then this one, we're down to 34 degrees. And this top one just up here is 31 degrees. So again, very comfortable to hold in your hand. It's not something that's gonna burn your hand as soon as you're done charging. Now, the good thing about this is, is it does come in different colors. So there's the blue one that I have here. There's gray, there's black, there's pink, and there is green. Now, one final test I wanna give this is how strong is the magnet? So I'm gonna pop my phone on here. So I've put my phone on here and I'm holding this up. And you can see that that holds perfectly fine. There is no weight. The magnets are very strong. There's no way this is gonna drop. So even if I shake it around a little bit, it doesn't drop at all and it holds the weight of the phone. Now that is the MagSafe, obviously it's not gonna do it with these two devices because they're not designed to be held into them. But if I try the Apple Watch, I think it'll be too heavy. Oh no, it does hold the Apple Watch as well. So it's just the AirPods that you won't actually get it to hold. So the magnets inside are strong and your devices are not gonna fall off them. Not that you will be charging it like this anyway, but it's good to know how strong the magnets are to make sure it doesn't get dislodged or it's not gonna move around while it's charging. The final thing to note is that these do have some smart chips built inside them, so it is gonna protect your Apple devices from overheating or overcharging. This will be, or already has, depending on when you're watching this, launched on Kickstarter. So the link is down in the description below, so if you wanna get your hands on one, there's a link down there. And get your name in early and don't miss out on another great product from Use. It's lightweight, it's portable, it folds down really nice into something small and compact. No more lugging around all those cables, and you have a single device with a single cable. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, what you think about this product. Is it something you would add to your setup? For now, this is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.